welcome to episode 12 of the Sonic Symphonic Podcast, where I, Ben Sebastian, introduce you to more outstanding metal discoveries and submissions at many ends of the spectrum, covering the outright insane, fearsomely dark, symphonically beautiful, sonically seductive, and musically masterful. I hope you enjoy what I have in store for you this month. First up, I discovered this today. It's way out there when we think about our preconceived notions of what symphonic metal and the elements our beloved genre entails, but it is indeed symphonic and it's brought to you by Varaf from Asheville, North Carolina, with Brad Paris, Nile on vocals, the RAF kickstarts a musical odyssey that depicts a dystopian Earth around the year 2136, and more than 80% of the world's populations disappeared after the arrival of an alien species. The music follows a group of mercenaries employed by the EOS Corporation to locate and retrieve something referred to as the Nexus Key. And of course, they run into some complicated and dangerous resistance. Since the arrival of the cosmic architects, strange creatures now roam this dystopian planet. The music is meant to portray the dire and odd environment in which the story unfolds. It's dark, it's progressive, it's death, it's black, it's symphonic sadism in all its salience, and it's got guns. This is The Barons.
what a blast that was. <laughs> I mean, every musical direction and component, all taking you by surprise, <laughs> an extreme presentation of music and extreme video to go with it. That's Veraf there, opening this episode with a full on assault on the senses. Um, this has been the most brutal discovery I've encountered this year since excuse me, Exanimous's Marionettiste album. Um, and it's up there on the wall. I don't know if the camera's got that, but uh, it's been a pleasure to share this with you. Like, show your support and follow Veraf on your socials. Look, I can't wait to to hear a a full album from these guys. Uh, <laughs> this is just extreme as hell, and I love it. So last week, I was on a video call with good friend Adrian Giordou from Phoebus the Night and Heartlight. Um, and I was sporting this very same T-shirt, which upon his seeing gave him cause to recommend a band called Whispered. This is like six years old, granted, but like I loved it and I just had to share it with you. This is Strike.
Rumour has it that this Finnish but Japanese inspired band are working on a new production. Uh, but in the meantime, there's some really, really good albums to catch up on. If, like me, you were late to the visually and auditorially stunning party uh, that is whispered. <laughs> this episode is going off, man. Ah. Oh. A debut concept album now from Absalom, from Beardstown, Illinois. The year is 1920, London, England. It's been three years since the end of World War I, when a gentleman called Randolph Bathory, a soldier in the English army, returns from the war a broken man. As the years pass, Randolph becomes more depressed his personality becomes dark, foreboding and menacing. Those around him come to believe he's brought something back with him from the war and that he was, in fact, possessed by a dark entity. After a terribly botched exorcism leaves Randolph near death and utterly insane, the Catholic Church has him committed secretly to the Lancaster Mental Asylum, thinking, thinking he is just another insane mental patient. Um, out of many uh, and unaware of the danger that's lurking within him until it's too late. Um, he accepts that this entity is now part of him and no able to ha handle life as a prisoner in the mental asylum. He wreaks havoc and chaos upon the staff and with the help of the entity inside him, finally escapes into the night. <laughs> From this impressively colourful conjured concept album entitled A Portrait of Madness, here is Blinded by Lies.
by lines check out the full album there's some really good tracks in there some awesome soundscaping too like buzzing of asylum alarms gates etc all adding to the atmosphere of this incredible story from absalom now i've got quite a list of names to rattle off now uh, and forgive me for any mispronunciations in my atypical english uh, ignorance um <laughs> of uh, of um of, of colorful um non-english names um i will go ahead and do my best so adrian benegas is a south american songwriter and producer he's mostly known for being the founder of a female metal act called Tragle, and he's also got his power metal solo career adrian has been working with acclaimed artists from all over the world including here we go german singer herbie langens from Firewind Aventasia, Ralph Sheepers, Primal Fear, Gamma Ray, Sander Zur, Delane, Alex Holmesworth, Rhapsody of Fire, and recently with German producer Sasha Path, Aventasia, Camelot, Rhapsody, Epica, and many more. He's released his debut album, The Revenant, in 2019, and an EP called Diamonds in the Dark in 2021. And now he's currently work on his second album featuring, and get this, Ronnie Romero from Richie Blackmore's Rainbow. I need a rainbow poster up here. Um, I absolutely oh, I love rainbow. Um, Michael Airy from Garen Gamma Ray, Timo Savers from Delane, and other artists. I mean, wowzers, what a collection of names to have worked with. Um, so, right, having listened to The Revenant, or having listened to, to uh, uh, Mr. Benegas' entire back catalogue, um, this is, well, just one favourite track um, from The Revenant album, and it's also accredited this month's Sonic Symphonic Gold Award. This track is Face to Face. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, Mr. Benegas, you're going to give me a heart attack. When I said favourites, they are all equally brilliant tracks. I mean, everything that is done. You know, I really struggled to pick, just to make a pick for this episode. Um, Cadavria was the other track from this album that I really wrestled with when making the choice. What I love about the composition style from Benegas is this choppy, changey dynamism in tempo, key signature, sonic sound, you know, that I too share. Um, as a composer, um, oh my god, as a keyboardist and as an arranger, I totally dig this guy's style. It is just so alive. Um, Andrew, you know, if you're out there, please like give my callous and stuff a listen, and I'd love to know your thoughts. Viewers, be warned. Well, Andrew, and be warned. I'm going to be on a mission to seek you out. Um, I have so many words to say to you about your music and so many questions on the topic of my music as the clocks have just gone back here in England and winter descends um, as an introduction to my music for those new here or as another bite for you regulars um, this is a seasonal themed entry from my back catalogue from my Callison 2 album here is the treacherous whispers of tempestuous winters
I really hope you enjoyed that interlude. So what's been happening in Planet Sebastian and all things Sonic Symphonic podcast this last month? Well, musically, not much. Um, my work schedule is in my day job has been brutal. Um, but on the podcast side of things and YouTube side of things, um, I, I did a really good interview with Teren of Existing Ruin, uh, reviewed story metal band Pressure from Sweden, met a fantastic Canadian called Cam and got very much into his project, uh, Volatile Skies, got very proggy in a review of Aura's war-themed Promises and uh, dug out something completely different, a, a DJ mix from days of old and shared that. I've also rediscovered my love of thrash metal with a band called Grimoire. All of these videos are on my channel, so check them out. And while you're here, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, it, to think I've not been busy enough with my uh, schedule and berating myself about it uh, th this last month now seems silly having listed all of that. Uh, I do aim to get on with, with completing some more compositions this month though and what's really helping me is a fantastic browser application and wait for it uh, called Reclaim AI. Reclaim AI connects your work calendars, personal calendars and your task list to its algorithm and automatically creates the perfect plan for each day, optimising your schedule around what you really need to get done while maximising your availability for new meetings and events by dynamically shifting stuff as your calendar fills up. Uh, and this is the kicker for me. It automatically creates time for the tasks and routines that are most important to you and reduces is the context switching and decision paralysis that destroys my focus or, or your focus indeed. So Reclaim Po promises you 7.6 hours uh, 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 per week of dedicated focus time uh, on average and I've been successfully using it by adding like habits such as you know, podcasting and composing um, and, and giving such habits a priority level and when I say I add my work shifts and other appointments into my Google Calendar, it automatically rearranges my free time and allocates time for those habits. It's very useful. So www.reclaim.ai. Check it out. For fans of Sabotage, Blind Guardian and such like, on October the 28th this year, the new and 16th studio album from Danish power slash progressive metal band Royal Hunt called Dystopia Part 2 was released. This is my favourite track, Fawn in My Heart.
Oh, lots of twists and turns in that one. And my God, that solo section <laughs> absolutely killed it. Wow, I'm loving this episode. I'm loving this month. I'm, oh, I'm loving finding all of this music. And remember, you know, this podcast is nothing without the band and its music. Um, uh, so Sonic Symphonic at Outlook.com. You can email me, you know, your tracks, your links, and whatever. You can find the Sonic Symphonic podcast on Facebook by searching for Sonic Symphonic Podcast, as you can on Instagram. You know, I do endeavour to reply to everything. Sometimes it takes me a little bit of time, but uh, please just keep sending me stuff. Um, it uh, it's, it's really nice to hear hear from you. Um, yes. So where was I? Royal Hunt. Yes, that's a lot. There's a lot to catch up on. Sixteen studio albums. Um, I've got through one and a half. So. Uh, a little way to go yet, but give them a follow. Okay, now I'm really excited by this new entry into the world of metal. I'm not so excited about introdu introducing them, um, only because, again, it's going to struggle with my linguistics. Now, I don't know if this band is called Yakuza, Yakuiza, or Yakiza, but um, uh, it's a female-fronted hardcore metal formation from the Netherlands, and they're presenting their first single and lyric video march of the mindless sheep and we've got more guns <laughs> Tomorrow there'll be rain, but 
This band reminds me of a bit of a like an early napalm for death but female it's fucking brilliant i am absolutely i absolutely love that um i love the video as well imagine the amount of footage you must have uh, uh, trawled through to, to put that video together it's really exciting to watch as well um in fact there's one sequence of the korean soldiers marching i used that audio in um uh, a track called marching towards redemption it's the back end of my callous and Al album just as the uh as an outro but anyway i digress so there's more guns again this episode seems to be the theme more war and it doesn't stop there as on february the 23rd 2022 the first full-length album from swedish symphonic metal band emma Tropia was released called equino uh, so after its successful tour uh, on the back of that album together with visions of atlantis and secret rule the band have now in september two uh to 23rd Get, uh, put my teeth back in i uh, released a symphonic choral edition of that debut album which that's what came to my attention initially so then i sought out the original album and now here is personal warfare
of you there with personal warfare um imagine being a dog walker just out one day <laughs> um uh, but uh, what a nice location waterfalls and uh, yeah very nice indeed um I ha I apologize for a, a slight chuckle, you know, walking along just, you know, as a guitar or a guitar just standing in its stand in the wilderness. But uh, yeah, very, very good symphonic metal there. And now a real surprise band camp find from Venezuela, an artiste by the name of King Stephen, who's inspired by the great masters of literature and is a lover of the macabre, is a melody maniac, lead synth obsessed, book addict, film lover, old school video game fanatic and composer for video games and film. And he writes 80s synths and horror music to dance as well. Ending this month's episode with quite the twist on symphonic metal is King Stephen with And Over the Ashes I Shall Reign. <laughs>
What a brilliant fusion there of uh, trance style elements with symphonics and choral craziness. Excellent. Thoroughly enjoyed that. That was such a random find, but such a special one. Um, check him out on Bandcamp. Loads of stuff there to listen to, and it's all good. Uh, and that's kind of where we're at now. It's the end of the episode, and it's it's been a pleasure to record. Um, it's been uh, it's been great to receive the submissions that I have and the recommendations, and uh, uh, I've been pleased with what I've dug up as well in my searching. Uh, yeah, I can't wait for the next episode. So, yeah, get in touch. Sonic Symphonic at Outlook.com. Uh, you can listen to this uh, episode on Podbean as well as watch it here on YouTube. Um, you can find the Sonic Symphonic podcast Facebook page uh, and Instagram page. And, yeah, I look forward to episode 13, uh, which I'm recording later and interviewing a certain someone uh, on Halloween's day as well. Halloween and the 13th episode and some doom metal so which i featured before uh, on my channel uh, stay tuned uh, i've been ben sebastian this has been the sonic symphonic podcast and i've had an absolute whale of a time take care